that's a skill. That's an art. And look at that cool little spiral I did over by your tree. You know, that, <laughs> that's really neat. It's a little gay. <laughs> yeah, it's a, it's a little gay. Uh, but, like, you could, like, take the art. Like, I feel like it's easier. The I know it when I see it is easier with porn than it is with art just as a giant, you know, uh, Ooh, I, I just agree. Jamie, we're fighting with that a lot right now on my on, well on my platform on the platform I'm currently banned from, but on Twitch, that's a big fight right now. That what is too sexual for some of the girl streamers versus what isn't. That's a really hard one to do. I'll know it when I see it because holy fuck, I, I've seen a lot of fucking porn, and I don't know when I look at some Twitch streamers <laughs> like I, I don't know what exactly. I'm you know what the problem is? Sometimes. The <laughs> problem with that is the people who are supposed to be knowing it when they see it are trying to fuck those streamers a lot of times. You'll like look at their favorite streamers and, and on their list and it's all titty streamers. It's like, well, you are not an impartial judge. Like you you need to throw together a panel of people who decide who is being too sexual and who isn't. Because yeah, there's man, some guy is it really some guy kidding? takes his shirt off and he gets kicked off for two weeks and some girl like routinely has like her nipples like popping out of like the, the extremely thin material and is like she's like, oh I got ten dollars, ten squats and she's she's wearing like like a <laughs> You know, like no, she's just you trying serious? to stay fit. Yes. The, wait, I, they'll I've, really be like ten dollars, and then they'll turn their ass to the camera. Oh, and do that's squats. not all. Yeah, Here's the thing: they do. To do that now. This is one of my favorites. It. They'll have like a <laughs> whiteboard, Taylor. They'll have a whiteboard behind them, and they'll oh, be like, God. "Oh, Taylor made the donation list." I'm glad he's pantomiming this. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> he's not. He's not pushing his ass out anywhere near. Yeah, enough. He, and he I needs was, the yeah. Yeah, I, he, you Wait, need to give a, it a little shake. Like, like, like you got Are they playing video it. games? I thought you had to be playing video games. To oh be no, 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 no! Not Twitch anymore. Has changed IRL, IRL. Yeah. Huh. But then to, to, to represent the flip side of that, it can be really hard to decide, you know, because on one hand, you know, you can say this has gone too far. But then on the other hand, it seems like people sometimes are almost pushing for like full on burkas to like cover women up as well. Like where people say, like, OK, like if I can see even like a micro nip poking through any part of your top, this is the most ridiculous thing in the world. Or if girls are doing things where it's like, you know, some women have big boobs, you know, and based on what they wear, some women will have a lot of cleavage just by the nature of having larger chest. You know, you can't always wear, you know, like a, a turtleneck sweater to, to yeah. cover up every yeah, part. You're so exaggerating really to make hard. your point, though. Like, uh, I, 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 no, no. Well, I talked I, to my I'm wife about this, and because uh, we had a, a I guess we had a titty streamer on, on the show one time, like two years ago. And she's like, she knows what she's wearing. I can tell you. She's acutely aware of, you know, what she looks like, how much cleavage she has, et cetera. That, you know, that, that's a thing that starts with picking out the, the shirt right? Maybe before you have it on. They're not surprised to learn that you can see down their shirt on that camera angle. All girls have been negotiating that path since they turned 11 years old. So Yeah, sure. But, like, the problem comes in where it's like, for a guy, if I am, if I live in a warm climate or say I live in an area where my house is just, you know, kind of warm, I don't have to think twice about what shirt would or wouldn't be appropriate. Like, it's, I, I just never have to process it. In fact, I could almost not wear a shirt. I could wear like a wife beater or something if I really wanted to. But for women that have large chests, navigating that can be kind of confusing because there are women that wear things, um, even just around other women without going out to talk to guys, that some guys will look at and be like, oh my God, this woman is being a huge fucking whore. Like, why would you ever wear? Mm -hmm. Whereas for that woman, it's just like, okay, well, this is comfortable for me. Like, You're I don't want to have to lenient. wear, like, you know, they know exactly I, I, what they're wearing, what uh, they're doing, I, so and they know I, what they. Know. And mean, these like, are girls that are about to live stream in front of hundreds, if not thousands, of people. And uh, it's I like, know. you know I, what? Like, Mistakes I, were I, made. I, I, I've, I've lived like seven years between two different girlfriends that had very large chests, and like just knowing, mm. how, like things like even wearing a bra can be very irritating. Like there are a lot of women where as soon as they get home, the first thing they do is take their bra because it's like they're really live streaming thing. in this situation. It's work. Yeah, it, I it immediately is to some extent, take but, like, off all my clothes when I get home. Sure, yeah. It's just one of those so things where, like, as a guy, it. you don't really have to ever think about it. But when you're a girl, you do have to think about it. And then, like, the standards by which we play by can be very different based on different cultures, right? That, like, some people would look at a girl wearing, like, even a sports bra, and they'd be like, that is way too fucking far. Whereas no somebody from a more liberal, oh, yeah, absolutely. Oh, oh okay, some cultures. I mean, we, you know. Is it, reading a lot of live stream films, there are a lot of guys that will point to girls wearing sports bras and be like, that's too much. And it's like, dude, it's just a sports bra. Like, There's there's a lot of incels on the internet. So. Are, they oh, just, yeah, there are. are they just wearing a sports bra? Like, sitting there <laughs> No. No. It's, that's pretty sexual. Because that's oh, what I was I, picturing when he was explaining it. I'm like, like, oh, no, who's like live streaming in a sports bra? And you can yeah. see a little nip, and they're like, you whore! Or something. A sports bra is the way to go. That's what I, That was going to be my next counter-argument to like, because I've dated girls with big tits, and... 
when she, she when she put on a sports bra, I was like, whoa, where'd they go? What are you doing? You, you, you're, you're cheating the whole world right now. You know, <laughs> it's sad, frankly. You know, and, I would and, rather them be able to show their tits off to their heart's content. But I think you can discern a lot of what their intents are based on the camera angle. Camera right? angles, yeah. Sure. Like, yeah. If, if they're like, tee-hee, you know, oh, I'm just comfortable in this top, and the camera's up here, you know? like it, No, you're not. You're playing it up. If they're wearing a regular shirt like that and the camera's here, you know, the way most male streamers, from what I garner, I, I'm not a Twitch expert, I don't watch many video game streams, then mm -hmm. you'll be able to, you can kind of discern that motive, right? Because yeah, I agree sure. with Woody for to sure. the point that, like, a lot of these, like, girls clearly know what they're doing and they know that their you know core audience aren't people who are like oh hell yeah gonna learn a league of legends strategy from this chick it's like no i i like those tits and i want to you know give her money for it sure yeah yeah, yeah it can happen I, I just sometimes people pull really far in the other direction it makes me nervous a little bit but yeah i mean there's there's definitely a line that can be drawn i think maybe the answer is twitch starting an over 18 sort of adult uh mm, corner of the yeah. Twitter base. snatch yeah oh yeah, <laughs> I would look. Snatch look, it, TV. Th there's a there's a I, there's a few subreddits that are relevant in this conversation. There's too busty to hide, and it's the number two. And bigger than you thought. Uh, on bigger than you thought, you can see how women with large chests can clearly put those babies away when they're doing some professional work in front of children, mind you. You know, and uh, it, it just makes sense. It just makes sense. I don't know. Like, it, would, I, I mean, like, if you have big boobs, I don't think it should be like, the, I don't think you should have to hide it. Like, you say professional, but I mean, like, my job is playing video games. It's not like I'm going, like, different, there are different types of professions that call for different dress codes, you know? I, I don't need to put on a suit and tie to, to work as a video game streamer and to shout at people that like Trump or whatever on my stream, you know? No one's um, much talking the same way that, like, about if, suit and ties, though. Twitch has well, decided no, no. they don't want to be Snatch.TV, and they want people sure. to wear things that don't sexualize themselves. And, and those are just the rules. It's not a hard rule to follow well but like so this is where i am the most critical and maybe where we can find the most agreement is that my problem is that twitch doesn't have any clearly defined rules like right now we could go on to the irl section and i guarantee you that all three of us could find things that we all probably feel is very clearly over the line um but twitch doesn't seem to consistently enforce any of their rules in terms of like what should be shown and what shouldn't be shown and i think that's where the main frustration comes from for a lot of people where where people feel like okay well twitch says no sexual content but some girls are like pushing that line like really really hard and then other girls like um i don't know if you guys click links during the show or if that's like a thing or whatever sure. but like so something like this right like um, I don't want to name names or anything, and I'm not saying, um, please be clear when you listen to this, I'm not saying any of these people should be banned, but I'm just saying, like, so if this person is wearing, like, a pretty revealing outfit that, that is work workout appropriate, but also pole dancing, um, like, you kind of wonder, like, what is the line in terms of, like, what's too sexual or what's not too sexual? Like, if pole dancing for exercise in a fairly, like, I don't know what I, what I would call this outfit to, to not piss somebody off, but, like, in, in this kind of outfit that shows quite a bit of skin, right, this is what is crossing skimpy. the line? Yeah. yeah, what I, I don't oh, I don't like the word skimpy. Go Maybe to it's mine. Oh, Click my link skimpy. and 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 Carl, it's, is it's, your link safe for the sh It's safe for the show, but she's okay. playing so, music, so no audio. Roger that. Sure. Let's see uh, what this is. Which... Not a hundred. I mean, she is playing a video game, so I'm on board with this. <laughs> well, that was the yeah. first one I found, actually. So that, I mean, yeah, she's so like, not the wearing that because it's that... comfortable. <laughs> well, but that's not necessarily true all the time. Sometimes comfortable what? things can be pretty revealing. You, the, she... the, I, I'm absolutely 100%. I swear to God, if you bring busty women onto this show, they will 100% agree with me. Because I used to be at the ante of this like two years ago until I started talking to more busty women. And, and th these are the general sentiments. Like the idea that I need to lock my shit up in some hardcore restricted bra is not a comfortable experience. Oh, right. The t-shirt is so constricting. The poor thing. How will she get by in a shirt that doesn't come down to the middle of her chest and, and, a, and, and stop at her rib cage? Like, we have gone beyond it. She definitely knows what she's doing. She's it, not even dancing well. Frankly. No. <laughs> <laughs> is that a challenge? Wait, do you, do you have girls dance back there? Can you load it up for us? I want a comparison. <laughs> I want to see who the judges. All right, but... let me go get my Captain America halter top. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, but, it's um, funny I... you're defending this because I, I, I see. You know, there's a mm -hmm. there is a line somewhere where it gets hard to t determine. This is not sure. close to that line. This this woman here, where I'm pointing in the wrong direction. This woman up here, she is uh trying to turn on 12 year olds sure so and this is where i i think we find agreement like 
if you look at the website and you see that this kind of stuff is allowed, what is your mind thinking in terms of where is the line? And I think this is the big flaw right now that Twitch has and that their enforcement of like where this line is seems incredibly arbitrary and not at all consistent, right? So they slapped you down. 